Have you ever wondered why overthinking is often considered a disadvantage? Over three centuries ago, a samurai may have had the answer. Miyamoto Musashi, an undefeated warrior with over 60 successful duels, also established himself as a master strategist. In his work, The Book of Five Rings, Musashi didn't just offer insights into victory in battle, but shared a profound approach to thinking and action itself. Musashi's teachings encourage us to ask whether thinking deeply might actually be an advantage in our modern lives. First, let's look at Musashi himself. More than a swordsman, he was a philosopher and an artist, leaving a lasting impact on Japanese culture. His work isn't only a strategic guide, it's a philosophical blueprint on life, focusing on clarity and purpose in action. This resonates strongly today, especially for those of us who struggle with overthinking, often leading to indecision and anxiety. Musashi saw things differently. For him, the ability to think deeply and understand each situation was essential, yet he emphasized keeping focus on what truly matters. One of his famous statements is, see what the eye cannot see. Here, Musashi references intuition, what we might call a sixth sense, as a valuable asset, particularly in scenarios where information is scarce. Intuition allows us to perceive underlying truths, make quick decisions, and act decisively in complex situations. How can we apply this in our daily lives? When we find ourselves spiraling into overthinking, it's time to stop and ask, what is most important right now? What's my primary goal? Shifting our perspective to the bigger picture and prioritizing essential actions can pull us out of mental clutter. For example, when preparing for a presentation, it's easy to stress over small details. Instead, focus on your main points, trust in your preparation, and let intuition guide you step by step. Focusing on your core objectives this way helps reduce stress and keeps you grounded in purposeful action. Musashi wasn't only dedicated to physical skill, he understood the importance of mastering the mind. One of his key practices was meditation. For Musashi, meditation was more than just a still moment. It was a way to direct the mind's strength and guide thoughts effectively. This practice ties closely with Zen Buddhist philosophy, where meditation helps cultivate a calm, clear mind focused on the present. When we're lost in a stream of thoughts and anxieties, taking a few moments to meditate can shift our thinking like pressing a pause button to reassess from a new angle. Meditation helps turn overthinking from a burden into a source of strength. Integrating meditation into life can be simple. Start by setting aside a few minutes each day in a quiet space, focusing on your breath. If your mind wanders, gently return your focus to the breath. Over time, this practice can develop a calm, focused mind, allowing overthinking to become a tool for clarity and insight. For instance, when you feel overwhelmed by tasks, take a moment to meditate. This pause can help clarify priorities, reducing pressure and improving focus so you can tackle work more effectively. Books like Zen Mind, Beginner's Mind by Shunryu Suzuki and The Miracle of Mindfulness by Thich Nhat Hanh elaborate on meditation and mindfulness as methods to harness the power of thought, much as Musashi did. Musashi's mastery didn't stop at meditation. He was known for his extreme focus in combat. He entered a state where overthinking transformed into a powerful tool, allowing him to immerse completely in each moment. This state, often referred to as flow, involves a deep engagement where time seems to stop and distractions fall away. In flow, small details no longer pose obstacles and focus sharpens solely on the goal ahead. Here, overthinking ceases to be a limitation. Instead, it drives full expression of one's potential. Have you ever felt that overthinking could actually make you more alert, even sharp? For Musashi, careful thought wasn't a barrier, but a way to refine his actions and reactions in every moment. His philosophy shows that with practice, thinking deeply can evolve into an instrument for insight, adaptability, and ultimately, self-mastery. For Musashi, Focus and instinct would naturally merge in battle, allowing him to reach a flow state where he no longer worried about what would happen next. In this heightened state, he was fully present, using sharp awareness and clarity to respond quickly and precisely. To find this flow in your own life, start by choosing activities you truly enjoy 
and can immerse yourself in, whether it's a sport, a creative project, or anything that demands focus without overwhelming complexity. When you're in a state of flow, you're free from outcome pressures, focusing only on the process itself. This is what athletes and artists mean by being in the zone, a mental state that enables peak performance by channeling one's full concentration. Like Musashi, we can use this to enhance our attention, reduce stress, and transform overthinking into a power that sharpens our senses. However, Musashi wasn't just a master of being present. He also emphasized the importance of balancing reflection with action, a vital lesson for anyone prone to overthinking. He trusted in the power of careful planning and reflection, often spending time strategizing before battle. Yet he understood that overplanning without action can be as harmful as acting without any planning. Many of us fall into analysis paralysis, where we consider every possibility so exhaustively that we never actually decide or act. Musashi's teachings remind us that while thinking and preparation are essential, they must lead to decisive action. Thought can help us prepare and strategize, but it becomes a barrier if it prevents us from moving forward. To achieve this balance, set a time limit for planning. When the time's up, commit to action. This is especially helpful when feeling overwhelmed by multiple options or potential outcomes. By creating a clear boundary between thinking and acting, you give yourself a structure that encourages confident progress. Imagine you're working on a project and spend hours perfecting every detail, worried you'll miss something crucial. Eventually, all that preparation turns into a form of delay. Setting a deadline for the planning stage forces you to transition from thought to action. This approach reflects Musashi's flexibility and readiness to act, a key factor in his success as a warrior. One story illustrates this well, a friend launching a business. She spent months researching and planning aiming for perfection before starting. Eventually, she realized she was stuck in an endless cycle of preparation. Only when she set a hard deadline for the launch, despite things being less than perfect, could she finally act. That decisive step not only launched her business, but taught her invaluable lessons she couldn't have learned from planning alone. Musashi's wisdom emphasizes that while preparation and thought are vital, true progress happens only when we take action. Another critical part of Musashi's philosophy is embracing imperfection and learning from mistakes. He understood that perfection is an illusion and that striving for it only brings unnecessary stress and fuels overthinking. Musashi believed every experience, success or failure was an opportunity to grow and improve. Overthinking often stems from a fear of making mistakes, leading us to get caught up in predicting every potential error or flaw which can leave us so hesitant that we never take action. But for Musashi, mistakes weren't failures. They were essential steps toward mastery. His undefeated record in over 60 duels wasn't just about winning. Each encounter brought new insights, whether about technique, strategy, or even his own mindset. Rather than dwelling on mistakes, he saw them as lessons vital to his development. This approach can help break the fear-driven cycle many of us face when we overthink. To apply this mindset, shift how you view mistakes. Instead of seeing them as failures, view them as learning opportunities. Ask yourself, what can I learn from this? Or how can I improve? This perspective reduces the fear of mistakes, allowing you to face challenges with openness and a positive outlook. And remember to treat yourself kindly when things don't go as planned. Acknowledging that everyone makes mistakes as part of a natural learning process helps you avoid falling into negative thought cycles. Think about Musashi's duels. With each opponent he faced, he learned something new. When he made a mistake, he didn't let it define him. Instead, he analyzed what went wrong and adjusted his strategy. This constant learning process not only made him a more skilled swordsman, but also a more perceptive strategist. Musashi's philosophy reveals that overthinking can become a strength when combined with clarity, decisive action, and a willingness to learn from mistakes. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and share to spread this meaningful message. And be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on more inspiring content.